Hi. This is my fourth video, and we're going to do it on the uh, my setup, basically. Uh, previous two were uh, on uh, polar alignment, and the other one was on the uh, uh, preparations, like your adjustments. I also did one on refurbish, uh, but that, that was kind of a special. But So this is the third one to basically get yourself ready to uh, take photographs uh, out in the, in the night. And uh, the reason why I want to do this is because uh, I've got some nice equipment that uh, I've found uh, that's very useful and um, very cheap. And uh, I think it's, uh, you know, you'd really anybody watching this would benefit from uh, using this equipment. And uh, what I mean is um, this device here, it's uh, called StellarMate. And it's just an, a Raspberry Pi uh, Linux uh, computer and uh, it has a hard drive for its operating system and the StellarMate operating system and it's able to control a whole observatory with these uh, four USB ports and you can connect to it either by uh, Ethernet or it's got uh, Wi-Fi so I connect to it using Wi-Fi and um, I have my laptop with Wi-Fi, there's no wires. The controller is Wi-Fi, so I have this mounted on my mount, and uh, the mount has a battery pack, so there's no wires anywhere. Nobody's going to trip on anything, and it's a very safe uh, uh, way to go when you're uh, out at a site trying to do your astrophotography. So, um, so I'll just show you a little bit uh, how it starts up and what it looks like. So let's go over here. So over here is the over here is the stellar main, and plugged into that are four cables. One is for uh, the main camera. One is for the guide camera. One is for the mount, and the last one is for a GPS module. So I have the GPS module here, and it's flashing, which means it has a fix and all this stuff is just sitting here completely by itself no wires this is a 1600 amp uh, power pack and this will run the scope all night and um, <clears throat> I have a Pentax DSLR camera for the main imaging and a ZWO uh, ASI 120 camera for guiding uh, very simple Orion 50 millimeter guide scope and uh, the heart of all this is uh, this Explore Scientific ED102CF scope which does a very nice job. Uh, maybe I should say this is the heart, this is the mount uh, Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro really reliable uh, works really well um, so, so now it's set up, the camera is on, the, the stellar mate is on, and I'm just going to power on the mount, and we, know, we have our GPS. So I actually don't have to do anything here, you'll see it's initializing, but I don't have to do anything because when I use, a, when I use a, my application there called KSTARS, it's going to rewrite all this. So I, I just say, you know, is it in the park position? No, it doesn't matter. Um, go past the warning screen. The locations are there, but I, that's old information. The date and time, I don't care. It's all going to be updated. <clears throat> Daylight saving, don't, I don't care. I'm just, just going through the menu. I'm not going to do alignment. <clears throat> so now it's ready. So the only thing I have to do is bring it over to the um, PC di direct mode and then I will have access to the mount uh, with the PC. So this is hooked up to the StellarMate and the StellarMate via Wi-Fi is connected to my uh, laptop. So we'll go. So now we're, we're ready. Okay. So if we come back and look at the Applications. So this is K Stars. 
And uh, K Stars is a basically a planetarium, but it also has a, 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 a control for a observatory. And so if we run that, it's got this ECOS. And ECOS is capable of running control for a whole observatory through the Stellar Mate Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to start that. Actually, first I have to connect to the Wi Fi. So you know, I've got it called Stellar Mate GB. <clears throat> so it's going to connect. There it is, it's connected. And now I'm going to connect. It's connected via Wi Fi. So I'm going to run the drivers that are on the Raspberry Pi and these drivers are going to come up and connect to the scope so now I'm connected to GPS and you see it just updated the time information and location information so my, my other uh, menu here is my Pentax DSLR connection I also have the guide camera and the mount. There's a lot of information, but this is all uh, sort of advanced use information. I just need to go basically back here and say unpark my scope. Pop, mount is unparked and then I can go somewhere and let's go here we're gonna go to Navi and track it so if you look there's the mount going and it's now tracking so now we can continue with various features uh, in the observatory control we have uh, basically this uh, overall window this uh, utility window that gives the status of all the things that are running we have uh, a sequencer like a, to plan your uh, all your shots mount control imager control we have the uh, guide tab um, Sorry, that's the focuser tab. We have a solver for astrometry and uh, the guiding tab. So uh, we're ready to do uh, guiding. Usually at this point, I'll actually go into the solver and I'll do a polar alignment. And that's where you saw uh, in my other video the polar alignment uh, function. Um, once I'm done that, I just decide what target I want to look at and I go to it like here I'll go to another one Let's say I want to target this one I'll go track there it goes then I can go to the solver and what this does is takes a picture and then we'll analyze the image to see if I'm on target if I'm not it'll move the scope to be right on target and it'll iterate you know three four times uh, until it's right on target and then it then it locks on and guides from and uh, sorry tracks from there so uh, once that's done the only manual thing I have to do is I have to go to my scope and focus it and uh, the nice thing about this setup is I can go to my camera and put it in live view and I can start doing live view and uh, I can zoom I can zoom in it's just a red screen now because it's just aimed at the ceiling but uh, and it has a, a full spectrum mod so it's got you, you get a lot of sensitivity in the red but normally I have a star here. I'll do focusing with a batten off mask at the at the top of the scope, and uh, and then I can come out of live view and go back to the go back to the automated equipment. So that's the only manual thing I have to do. 
So, and the reason why I've done all this or, or got this working the way, this way is because uh, I need to uh, basically in the summer we have a lot of mosquitoes and in the winter we have freezing, very cold weather. Uh, we go out at minus 15. Uh, we've even gone out for a colder, but it starts to get pretty problematic. So, this is very useful. So, uh, so once I'm, I'm locked in on my target, I've focused, I can go to the guide module and start guiding. If I do a capture, I'll get a capture of the, the guide camera. That's right now, we're just looking at my ceiling. And uh, I can do the same with this, my main camera. I won't bother with that right now. And when I'm all done, I just go back to here and go park. It's parked. Then I shut down with this utility screen. I disconnect, stop the drive the server, stop the drive the server on the the Raspberry Pi and now I can shut this off and go to my mount and shut everything off. And that's it. So I thought you'd like to see that because uh, to me this is like the simplest system. Very useful. It's got very good software behind, behind it that uh, can control the observatory. So. Um, I haven't seen anything this sort of this sort of lightweight and slick uh, anywhere else, and um, it's good for uh, either having staying at home in an observatory or traveling and putting your scope out uh, at a dark site. So I uh, hope you like what you see, and uh, good luck.